story. I was a cop. You know that? I was in the Navy, though. You was a cop in the Navy? You was a master at arms? What did you do? Oh, I was a master at arms. I was a cop. I just let everybody go. And that's paperwork. I let a lot of people go. Like, if you got arrested by me, that was your fault. Man, I used to let everybody go. I was the best. Like, for the military guys, I was amazing. They all loved me. They all wanted me to pull them over. Because it's different when you live on the base. So I'm pulling people over that I got to live with, basically, in the barracks. That's a whole new ball game. I guarantee you there'd be no solved murders in pork and beans if the cops had to live there. I let everybody go. I ain't, I, you know. Most of, most of the stuff you get on the base is DUIs. Tijuana, you know, they're underage. And they always say, they always say, say they two beers. I'm like, come on, bro. I'm, I mean, I did do 18 tequila shots, but I only drank two beers. <laughs> yeah, you had to be messed up. I just, but I, here's what I used to do. If I pulled you over, I knew you were drunk. Like, I would just take your keys. I'd park your car. And I like working nights because I work 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., so I just be like, be at the Master Arms office, which is the police station. I said, man, I get off at 6. Just be there at 6. I give you your keys back. It don't matter if I pulled you over at 545. Everybody showed up at 6 a.m. to get their keys. <laughs> I'm like, good night. I'd look like, <laughs> about eight keys on my keychain. <laughs> be like, there you go. There you go. I feel like Oprah. <laughs> I remember one night I pulled over. To, this is a true story. I pulled over the captain of the base. I didn't know it was the captain. I just pulled him over, and I walked up. Like, oh, shit, that's the captain. He was driving, he had a girl in the car with him. I don't know who the girl was, but it was not the lady on all the pictures all over the base with him. I ain't going to start no rumors, but. So I remember telling him, I said, sir, um, okay, we got, we got two options here. I can give you a field sobriety test or just give me your keys. I'll park your car. Just be mad at Sir Arms off at 6 a.m. and I can drop you off at your house since you're by yourself. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I remember the next morning, we doing shift change, right? Remember, everybody's freaking out there. Yo, the captain's outside. The captain's outside. I knew I got his keys. I know why he's there. <laughs> so I remember um, I walked outside and I just walked by him and he put his hand out and I just dropped my keys right there, right? Didn't say nothing, right? Next week, I'm at midday muster. They're like, Petty Officer Owen, front and center. I go, who the fuck snitched? <laughs> I go up there and my chief was like, Petty Officer Owen, we got a letter of accommodation from the captain of the base. What a fine job you're doing on night shift. I go, me? <laughs> I just <laughs> I remember every time I'd see the captain on the base, I'd always tell my boys, watch him walk up. I ain't going to salute him. They said, you're going to get in trouble. I'd be like, watch. <laughs> he walked up. I go, how you doing, sir? He goes, oh, this motherfucker's back. Let me get out of here. 